Hey y'all. <laughs> Ooh. Happy St. Patty's Day. Yep. It's St. Patrick's Day here today. Um, and I made um I guess Irish food. <laughs> um I did a corned beef brisket. Um, it was a flat and some little golden potatoes, some cabbage and carrots. And I just got a little Marie Callender um, shepherd's pie. <laughs> That's Irish, ain't it? <laughs> and I got me a little Natty Ice beer to drink with my food because, you know, why not? Cheers. Ooh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's not bad at all. <laughs> Ooh, let me get a little bite of this. These just come out of the oven just a few minutes ago. Got your potatoes and your beef and your carrots and corn in there. Not sure what all else, but mm. not too shabby, Marie Calendar. It's not the prettiest thing, but it tastes pretty good. And of course, I could have made my own, but it was just one of those days. I just wanted to throw everything in the crock pot and be done. Mm, I had a lot of other stuff going on today. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, nice whole kernel corn in there. Mmm. Nice little hunks of meat. Okay, okay. All right, I want to taste my corned beef. Mm. I haven't had corned beef brisket probably a few years, actually. Mmm. Mmm. Too bad. It might have been better if I'd have cooked it on low for the eight hours, but I was kind of in a rush today. It's a little tough. Disappoint. Tastes good though. Mm. Maybe if I would have done it on high instead of four hours, maybe five, but I'd be worried about my potatoes and everything. I wonder if they could have held out that long. Mmm. Oh. Mm, just little potatoes and butter. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. This wasn't a very fatty brisket. I usually like them where they're just covered in fat because the fat's usually my favorite part. Y'all know me, you know, all about the fat. Mmm. 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 It's good, but. Oh yeah, I'm gonna complain. It could have cooked a little longer. It'd have been more falling apart. Mm. It was a big one though. It was a big old roast. Mm. Mm. There we go. Mmm. Mmm, with that flavor. Mmm. 
My nanny used to do those all the time. Mmm. Mm. Now tell me what I could have done better. Mm. <clears throat> I put it on top of the cabbage because I figured all the flavor would like soak into the cabbage. Maybe I could have done it reverse. Maybe put it on top of the carrots and the potatoes and then put the cabbage on top. So maybe the... <sighs> mm. Crock pot cooking, you know. Ooh, that's so good though. That's what I wanted. Mmm. Wanted that fattiness to go down into my cabbage. Mmm. Yeah. And carrots. Mmm. And yes, I know I just got baby carrots. <laughs> mm. Mm. But they're cute and they cook quick. Mm. My tater. Let me get a drink of beer. Mm. There's probably going to be some leftovers. <laughs> mm. We dreaming about a sandwich. It's be a corned beef sandwich with some mustard. Mm. That's actually a good texture for a sandwich. Mm. Oh, excuse you. gravy. Oh. What a neat stick on that end. <laughs> mm. Hmm. If I had to do a review on this Marie Callender Shepherd's Pie, I'd say it's pretty good. She's running for a doggy. <laughs> Comes out of the room at full bore. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. 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 What do you guys like to do for St. Patty's Day? Do mm. y'all celebrate or do anything? Mm. I know it's kind of another Catholic holiday, but hey. <laughs> Food and drinks. <laughs> you know, why not? Oh, excuse me. Mm. I don't remember really doing anything growing up for St. Patty's Day. I think there may have been a parade or something. Um <clears throat> Is there sports going on for St. Patty's Day? I don't know. I kind of vaguely remember it being some kind of sports holiday. I could be wrong. Probably am. Who knows? I haven't followed sports since I was a kid. I mean, it wasn't me. I was just, you know, a bystander. <laughs> Innocent bystander watching sports with the granddaddy and my stepdaddy and whatnot. Mm. <clears throat> mm. Mm. 
but I did actually enjoy football a lot better and baseball once I actually learned the game. <clears throat> Scraping that plate, sorry y'all. <clears throat> but um, the only thing I really remember about St. Patty's Day was you needed to wear green so you didn't get pinched by a leprechaun. Mm-hmm. Like, What's that all about? What's the deal with the leprechaun? Why they gotta pinch you? Why the violence? What's that all about? Hmm? May have to Google. Hmm. Everybody, this shepherd's pie. I'm gonna Google. It's a deal with leprechauns pinching you. Hmm. That's always puzzled me. Let's see. Oh, that was uh, that's my friend Becky. I've known her since kindergarten. Mm hmm. Still talk to. <laughs> Let's see, the leprechauns. Oh, excuse me. Leprechaun pinch and a generous heart. What does that mean? Oh, 10 fun facts about St. Patrick's Day. Well, why not? Let's do that. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see, the first St. Patrick's Day parade took place in Boston. Hi, Boston. Um, organized by 27 Irish immigrants in 1737. Wow, they've been out that long time. No, I don't want to subscribe to your newsletter. Thank you, though. Don't eat your hair candy. I'm going to say number two, Americans added the wearing green and pinching traditions originating from leprechaun folklore. Okay, it's a folklore thing. Mm. Mm. Legend has it that these sneaky small fairy creatures can't see anyone wearing green. Oh, so you're hiding, I see. And like to pinch people. Mm. The tradition became to pinch those not wearing green to remind them about the trick-loving leprechauns. Okay, so if you wear green, they can't see you, so they can't pinch you. Ah, hmm, sneaky little jokers. Until the 1970s, all the pubs and bars in Ireland were closed on St. Patrick's Day because it was considered a religious holiday. Well, that's what I figured. Mm. The St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin sees 500,000 attendants and is more than a mile and a half long. Over 4,500 barriers dot the city to direct crowds of people in the parade. Hmm. Number five, St. Patrick's Day is a national holiday in Ireland and the Caribbean island, Montserrat, Montserrat, home to many Irish descendants. Unofficially, the day is celebrated all around the world. It's even been celebrated in space. Ah, very cool. I can see that. And some Irish astronauts. Mmm. Number six. Being drunk on the day is an old tradition. A report in the New York Times all the way back from 1860 mentions how the New York parade had a great many persons very much intoxicated. <laughs> mm. Number seven. St. Patrick used the shamrock to explain the Trinity to Irish pagans. And the shamrock is a three-leaf clover, if y'all didn't know. 
surprisingly, it is not the official symbol of Ireland. The harp is. A harp, huh? Okay. Mm. Number eight, St. Patrick wasn't named Patrick, nor Irish. His real name was Maywin Sakat, and he was born to Roman parents living in the UK. He spent his teen years being a shepherd before turning to the church, or turning to church life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if y'all say so. Mm. Number nine. In Chicago, they dye the river bright green in celebration of St. Patrick's Day. The idea was thought up by a plumber named Steve Bailey. Bailey, huh? Uh -huh. Number ten. Corned beef and cabbage is a popular dish associated with St. Patrick's Day in North America. It's an Irish-American variation of the beloved Irish dish of bacon and cabbage. Well, bacon and cabbage would have been just as good. I like bacon and cabbage. Uh, hmm. But I hadn't had corned beef in a long time, so. Let me see. What was that website? Let me give them a shout out. Baba Mail. Everything that interests you. BabaMail.com hmm. Y'all have to Google that. <laughs> okay. Well. Corned beef and cabbage, y'all. Hmm. And I'm doing alright. Keeping traditions alive here. Hmm. I have to drink a few of these though, but. <laughs> mm. What exactly is corned beef and how is it different from regular, like pot roast beef? That's a good question. Mm. Google. Man, I wish my Google talked to me. Or at least understood me. <laughs> corned beef. Corned beef versus roast beef. Okay. Roast beef is just that, beef which has been roasted. Corned beef is beef which has been cured with salt and spices. Often pepper, allspice, and bay leaf. Sorry. <laughs> then simmered in water to cook. It's traditionally made with the brisket which has more fat than the ones you usually used for most roast beef deli meats. Now, I wish this one was a little more fatty. Well, I mean, like I said, if it would have cooked longer, it might have been a little more tender for me. That's good, though. I mean, this is a good, this was a good cut. Cooked probably just long enough to make really good sliced sandwich meat. It would have been really good sandwich slices. I got the flat instead of the... Was it the points, I think? Maybe the point would have been better. Maybe it would have been more tender. Who knows? I didn't want to shred it. I wanted it to be sliced. Because I wanted it to look a certain way on my plate. But, <clears throat> but it's good, though. It's good flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. No, but four hours on high, I don't think was enough. Maybe I should have cooked it another hour. Just, maybe I should have had bigger potatoes. <laughs> but it wasn't all fit. I used a big old head of cabbage. <laughs> mm. Mm. And it was taking up all the room in my quad pot. Mm. Cook stuff separately. Again, I just wanted a one pot meal. Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh, and all 
was pretty pretty dang good though. Mm. <clears throat> Let's go with the grain. You want to cut it against the grain if you want a good sandwich slice. Oh, oh, oh crap. You slice it, the better it is, of course. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Shepherd's pie was something I used to make for my ex-husband all the time. It was one of the first meals I taught myself how to cook. Mm. And he liked it. Mm, something he ate all the time. I'll probably do that a couple times a month even. Mm. It was pretty cheap to make. in that part. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> That's funny. In the bottom of this container, it says for single use only, do not reuse. Like some people actually try to cook in this again. So it's like I got some new bakeware. Thanks, Marie Calendar. For serious people. It's so funny the stuff, the warnings that you see on certain packaging. It's like. <laughs> Okay, how many people had to do that before they had to put a warning on it? Or did they just take it for granted that somebody was going to do it? Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. About to eat the last of this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. 
Last bite was a little gristly. Come on, Marie. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> well, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Mm. Trying to celebrate these holidays with you guys. <laughs> oh. so what's next? <laughs> April Fools. Mm, let's see what I have planned for April Fools. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, that was fun. That was yummy. Um, uh, happy St. Patty's Day. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye now. Thank you for dinner. It was really good. You're welcome. <laughs> I actually like it. Good. <laughs> mm, good, good. Ooh.